What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be playing Samurai Blade Yokai Hunting. This is a mobile game for Android and iOS. Um, I saw this game on the store, it looked kind of interesting, so I started playing it. So, let's take a look at it. I only played it for a little bit. As you can see on Adventure Mode, I'm only up to 3 5. But I've already started doing like summons and stuff. So on, on this game, they give you for your summons, you get to pick your banners. And so I kind of picked a tank banner, a DPS banner, and a healing banner. Pretty much is what I made it because these are one is a healer, one is a debuffer, and one is these both are DPS, these both are tanks. So that's what I did for my banners, but. Let's go in here and we can, I can show you some of the gameplay. Oh, let me click those real quick. So this game is kind of like most of the games. It's a gacha game, but it's an auto fighter. So they're going to go on the level and they're just going to fight. But as you see on the bottom of the screen, the icons are starting to glow. The icons will start to glow and they can, you click on it, they're going to do like a move. So right now, the two redhead characters are my strongest two in my group. But that's because I pulled them from the banner and they just like three stars, which is the highest star level you can get off of a banner. But you can't upgrade everyone up to six star by getting duplicates of their characters. So that's how some of the gameplay goes. Um, I think there are some more modes. So I think, so I see you have Gold Dungeons, Training Center, Awaken Dungeons, and in these, you know, you're just gonna go in there and play these and get your Awakening Stones that you need to awaken your characters. I'm not sure if I can actually do these. Oh, never mind, I can do these. There, I guess there's no level cap for these. I thought there might have been like a level cap. Like, hey, you're not strong enough to do this. Well, apparently I'm strong enough. And I got these little awakening stones and uh, I clicked off of it, but you get these right here, crystal origins. And I'm guessing these help awaken your skills to make them stronger. It awaken your characters to make them stronger. Then you also have like a gold dungeon. Of course, this one is just gold. So you go in here and it goes attack them all. It's basically the same as the other levels. And they clear these out pretty fast, so that's how you know my team is actually pretty strong. Start off here. Now the game does have sweep tickets, so if you just want to go in and sweep it to get done, sweep your levels to get items or sweep these to get uh, your gold. This level is a little bit longer than the Awakening Dungeon was. Oh, it's only regular mobs though. And we got gold. Uh, now I don't know if any characters actually like give a boost to the uh, to the um things. You also have to the oh to the gold, but maybe they do. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't looked at their abilities. I can show you some of the warriors I have. So like I said, Shuhei is Shohei. Shuhei. I think it's Shuhei. Shohei. He's like a strong tank, so. He's gonna be like one of my strongest characters. And then we got Ayame. She's gonna be one of my strongest DPS. I don't have a strong healer yet, really. I guess, no, she's an archer. And you got some other cool characters that don't even have face or pictures, but I'm wondering if they just haven't put them in here or it's just like, these are no names. Dang good. I don't know. We'll have to see once I eventually get to use these characters. But yeah, I've been playing this game. It's been been grinding out. It. I'm probably gonna finish the story sometime or another. If I open any more stuff, I might do a repeat uh, a video to show those other things open. Cause I see I haven't got the raids unlocked. I haven't have I don't have PVP unlocked. Uh, this is down here that says Destiny. I don't know what that is, but I haven't got that unlocked either. And if I go back to 
battle, we're gonna have the training center or the castle of Yokai King unlocked. So, which I'm getting ready to have the castle of Yokai King open soon, but the training center I gotta wait a little bit long for. So, oh yeah, we're gonna look at this side right here. Got equipment. So when you get the character, they don't come with this equipment on it. It's not gonna be plus 15. It'll be like, where's? Let me see the character. It'll be like this character, just white, no pluses to it, plus zero. And then you have to go in here and enhance it based off these items that you get from the levels. So I already enhanced Shuei's a little bit, but I haven't got to some of the levels that I need to get these items. So yeah, and then you go in here and level up. You can level them up. I'm not sure how this works because sometimes I like, don't get XP. I think it's like up to the level you can get them to at the time. Because it says 10 out of 10, so I can't go no higher. But I actually could level the bar all the way up to uh, 400 out of 400 so that when they get to the next level, they better level. But I think the level is up unlocked by the stage that you're on, it seems like to me so far. Then you got advancement. This is going to advance their levels to tier zero so I, I'm thinking this is like helps their abilities I'm not really sure on this I, it just has the advancement they didn't explain it but I think they did get stronger like overall their power level right here got stronger when I advanced them then like I said fragments you need fragments to move them up and start level and then awakening so you can awaken them. Oh, can I awaken him right now? Nope, we need golden ones for him. Okay. See right here. And then you got orbs, which I haven't even got open yet. But I think it comes up soon. But we're going to end this video with some summoning. And uh, let's see what Venom will go on. I feel like we need another tank because I have a secondary. You have two tanks that you need mostly. Either I'm gonna go in for her. Cause I have Ayame. Probably go in for her. Let's see what we get. I don't really have any kind of summoning. Oh, summon animation is just change color based off of what unit what that unit is. So this is a two star unit. If it's a three star unit, it'd be gold. Oh, I thought it was gonna change for me right there. They do have some cool looking characters, but like I said, some of them don't have art pictures, so either it just means they're not part of the story or they're just not important to them. Oh, dual wheel blading guy? Oh man, I should gave you a picture, bro. Miyu. Shoma, which is the main character. But I immediately stopped using him once I got three stars, honestly. But he's in he is another with a tank. But I might put him back in there as my secondary since I am I'm like I'm gonna get us another one right now. Um we need two thousand to do a ten pool. And then I was able to do it just then because I had tickets. But anyway guys, that is Samurai Blade. If you like the game, pick it up play it. I'm going to be playing it for a little bit longer. Probably finish the story and check out some of the other stuff. But, guys, that's all to it. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me if you played this game or if you plan on playing it. And see you guys next time.